I was just deciding which way to go there. I could have turned right. Hey, welcome to the channel. It's a quick update. This journey will take about 15 minutes. Probably maybe 10. I'll try it. I couldn't load last week's video because I went through. <laughs> I drove through a red light. <laughs> so it's like, oh God, you know. I'm looking at it going, you can't put that on. You're going to end up getting busted. And then, um, Oh look, rain. So, what we're going to talk about is Heather's numpty neighbour. Well, right, so, uh, yesterday I went to Cooper Angus trying to out-dodge the rain. Uh, the rain that was in Edinburgh. And I say it was quite fulfilling. Um, I met this lady, I met another lady. That got on all right way, you know. So it was spiritually, it was pretty good. I met some unpleasant characters as well, but I suppose that's part and parcel of life. Um, so the over, overall vibe at this place is pretty good, up at uh, Caparangas. Uh, it's, in a, it's a car boot sale, but the problem, obviously, with a country car boot sale is it's, it's not, it's not going to get enough footfall. So I, because it, it wasn't going to rain there, it said it wasn't going to rain, and it actually did rain. It was on the edge of that eastern kind of the east. Well, it was in the east, but the um, the clouds and the rain and everything was on the east, uh, and this was sort of like on the edge of the cloud. So the theory, so it was good. It was quite enjoyed the drive. Now the big mistake that I made is I never took my cable charge the phone up so because to compensate for having a shit day as in shit and as in not making any you know any um spondulics was uh, oh i'm going to do a video at scone the new road because i never had the bloody i didn't take the cable so the bat the camera was dead so i didn't drive straight home without doing any videos which was maybe a relief for everybody and um Um, just wondering what the hell they're doing there, loads of roadworks. They'll, they'll end up slowing that speed, they'll put a speed limit in here. Anyway, um, so I posted it on YouTube and that on Facebook and I thought, well, I couldn't be mean to them so I said it was really good. <laughs> I said it was a really good busy place. It's like, well, that's li some lying, but y you can't say it's total shit, because then it will be shit. It'll get even worse if everybody says that. So you've got to watch what you say, haven't you? You know, when people are trying. And then, yeah, I would go back, because I enjoyed it, but it's just that thing between like business and fucking social, personal care, or whatever you want to call it, you know. Um, so... Uh, it was, it was an, I enjoyed it, but I, I might go up to Morrison's, but Morrison's in Dundee, but it's only on every fortnight, it wasn't on, so I would have went there. Um, but that's if, like, say potentially you could find that Dundee doesn't have rain and Edinburgh does. This is really the point of this, right? So, we're on cruise control, we're doing 64 miles per hour. But at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter, you know. Um, so I was talking to a lady about narcissistic people and everything, we had a little long conversation about that. And really, well, what she was, she was putting across her experiences and I was putting across my experience, life experiences, and um, she was pretty well clued up on so I'm trying to, I was trying to listen to her, so I, I'm not a good listener generally. Um, but I think what she was saying was, when they, these people point themselves out to you, 
it's your job to sort of navigate them, round them, you know. And it's it's really it's quite quite depressing when you really examine it because like somebody with a narcissistic personality disorder is fundamentally well, unpleasant. So and the, so the person I was talking about was says. I'm not going to say who it was because they could be listening to this and it'll give them narcissistic feed thinking that they've affected me which they sort of have I suppose so we'll call it's Heather's narcissistic numpty neighbour right so I've realised everything he's said to me and every conversation I've had with him since I met him has been lies right? you know and it's like so you think well, he's lied to me about everything. So what I mean by that is like he's he's trying to direct me. I don't, I don't actually know what he's trying to do. Actually, I don't know if he knows I, what he's trying to what what he's trying to achieve. I think it's built into his psyche. So he's he's everything. And the one of the most the most horrendous lies that he did, one of them, and I, I feel such a fool for actually believing it. I believed it for, I, I, I ostensibly believed it because it was a case of why wouldn't you? And then I realised yesterday, having talked to this lady yesterday up in Cooper Angus about Heather's narcissistic numpty neighbour, I realised that he lied to me about the family tree. It's quite a horrible lie because he, he told me information that led me to believe he was related to me, right? And I don't know why he did it. I still don't understand it, what it was about. I don't know what it was for. It's, it was a weird, weird, weird conversation. Every conversation's been weird. Um, and so the real the reason that why do they well so it's like that if you watch Jordan Peterson you know he talks about how fundamentally should be based on truth so so Heather's narcissistic numpty neighbour would probably claim that I'm a fake because I'm not a real woman or something like that right so I don't see that I am because I'm upfront and honest about the the wrong path that I took, or you know, the, the, the massive mistakes that I made, and the, the narcissistic behaviour that I um, took part in, you know, or, or what's the word that that I that so a lot of things that I did were extremely so it's like I I sort of call it inverted narcissism, it's sort of like upside down. Where you're the victim, but it's still narcissism. That's the thing. <laughs> so I did a lot of that, and I hope I don't do it now. But if I do, I apologise. But I'm trying not to. Um, so, um, so everything about this guy is, is lies, and it? it's like the things that he said. I remember the things that he said. Like, but, so I want to start, like, I, I don't know where we are, but I think I could probably say that our relationship has sort of reached a point of, I don't think so, no, I think I think a lot of these people are brazen, they don't have any, um, you know, they, they don't really care about anything other than themselves, so, you know, for me, I realised like a couple of years ago was to keep walking, you know, say hello and keep walking, say hello and keep walking. We call that, we could call it. Look at that. Look, one of the things I like about these videos is, is the, I suppose it's the atmosphere and everything. That, like when I went up to Edinburgh, um, up to Cooper Angus, got on the motorway. It was quite nice, you know, the, the sky and everything, and the, the, the morning sort of dusk, um, sort of thing. Um, better pass this car, it's not too slow. 
and um, so it certainly looks better on the device than it, I think than what it actually is, the clouds and everything. So I suppose they're like a piece of art, aren't they, these videos? Uh, I know a lot of people do that. So, so what I was talking about was truth. You know, you have to be, you have to be, be base. There has to be truth. And if you're going to lie to somebody like what that narcissistic numpty is doing, and then so he, he'll, he, in his mind, he'll think nothing of. He's done that. He's done a few, a few tricks to. I uh, sort of make me feel inferior. Um, I, I don't know what it. I actually genuinely don't know what it's for. Is it to shag? I mean, I don't have a wife, so it's not so you can shag my wife. Um, is it? Does he want my house? You know, is that what it is? Or am I overthinking it? Um, it's not, this, I'm talking about Heather, of course. Heather's narcissistic, numpty neighbour in the uh, Kirkland Tower, and. Um, You know, so you don't really know what, what... I don't know what the game is. Like, it's a game, right? So what is the game, you know? So the reality is... Don't play the game. So you, maybe I am playing it by talking about it. You know, I, I'm not quite sure about that. I think I've, I've always struggled with that. And I think, I think narciss, narcissistic numpties know that. They, they can read it off you. You know, you're your insecurities and almost like it's a bit like it is definitely um, like a wolf picking on a you know an injured animal I think that's what they do yeah it's a psyche thing so the problem for when, when you meet up with narcissistic numpties that and they, they engage in war with you the problem is there's nobody going to win anything yeah, it's, it's like, there's nothing in it. They're just like, you know, there's nothing in it. So you can get angry and you're going to rage. You know, you can, you will lose. Because if you win, you will lose. And so the only thing you do is you don't play, but don't engage in the war. Uh, I don't know what the war's for, anyway. Um, or I genuinely don't know what it's for. Um, but... Oh, is it private hire? The, the sort of uh, behaviours are just weird. I, I would say they're just strange. It's like, and they're stepping on the toes and infringing on your, infringing onto your. I, I suppose that metaphorically, Heather's narcissistic numpty neighbour. Um, I kind of said too much there when I was on the motorway a wee bit. Those of you who are listening to it will pick that up, but I sit the. They like, it's the equivalent of coming up and just like prod, you know, like going up and saying, I've seen that maybe in a film or something, like poking you or something. No, it was Kenny Weiss that did it. If you watch Kenny Weiss, he, he would talk about what his ex was like with him, how she abused him. You don't like that, do you? You can't take it, can you? So I like poking him. It's just like prodding and poking, you know, and that's what, it, that's what, they, that's what they do. I don't know why they, I, I, I don't actually know why. No, if somebody can tell me why, it'd be brilliant. Well, I do know why. It's just because they do it because they're broken. And they're, they're sad, stupid idiots. They have, no, they have nothing to uh, contribute to the universe other than being narcissistic numpties. And that's what's got them where they are today. And that, it's never going to change. And I think, yeah, that's, that's the only thing. So I do know. It's not like I say... Please tell me what what the what the game is. The, the, the game is them to succeed in their dominance. It's really weird, isn't it? The the narcissistic numpty behaviours. Um. So it's like you say, what are they after? Are they one? So it's like basically when I said about shagging the wife. So sex, money, sex, money and sex is. Basically, you could probably boil all these problems down to that. That's what the origins lie. Somebody's needing to shag somebody, or they're trying to hide their 
sexual proclivities somewhere. Which is back to like me, I, I sort of, I'm not really hiding them, you know. Well, not really, well, I'm not hiding them at all, am I? I mean, just, um, I don't really care one way or the other about that. I, I did, at one time, I had to hide, obviously, sides of me that, yeah, so, I mean, this, you know, um, Um, don't know what the fuck's wrong with them. Never mind. Um, dealing with these nards is weird. Um, dealing with them is very, very strange. Very, very strange. You get a lot of boy racers around here. That's what you get, and um, you get all the boy racers going about. Um, so thanks for watching that video. Um, it's pro probably a bit, it's a bit heavy, I suppose. Um, I'm a bit early today. I'm just, I don't know what time it is. What time is it? I don't know. Look, I need to get this clock set in this car. So thanks for watching, please like, share and subscribe, bye!